Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês do inglês do rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hey guys, it's Foster from English No Crew, and today we have a very special guest, Laura Perucci. Laura, what's up? How are you? Hi, hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. Of course, yeah, it's my pleasure. So, Laura, you are a blogger and a journalist. You live in New York. You run lauraperucci.com. It's difficult to mm -hmm. say your name in English sometimes for me. Yeah, it's an Italian last name. Yeah. Do you say Perucci or Perucci? Uh, when I say in English, I say Perucci. Yeah. Uh, but when I say in Portuguese, I say uh, the K sound like Perucci. Perucci. But uh, actually, I don't have the I at the end. It's a mistake when I was registered. So I actually don't know which is correct. So it doesn't <laughs> so matter for me. you can say me. whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, Laura, just to give everyone... A good idea of who we are talking to. First, you are one of my students. I've been working with you yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. And your English is excellent. One of the best. Also, you've been living in New York for for how long? Four years and three months. Wow. That's very yeah. precise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More six to go so I can say that I'm a New Yorker. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Ten years, ten years. Yeah. So, Laura, I'm just going to give you a quick correction in English because I okay. can't stop being okay. an English teacher. <laughs> so when Great. you say six more years, so you always put the more after the number, right? You said more six to go. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Six more to yeah. go. Okay. Perfect. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't be. Cool. So, Laura, I guess my first question is I lived in New York for one year. I love New York. It's one of my favorite cities in the world, but it was a very difficult place to live because it's super expensive. It's always crazy. So what is keeping you in New York for so long? Or why do you like New York? This is a deep question. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. Not an easy um, question to start. Not an with. easy question <laughs> to start. I don't know. I fell in love with New York first time that I came to the city in 2013, like a tourist. Yeah. And I don't know. I think it's, I am from a very, 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 very small city in Brazil. <laughs> and when I say that compared to New York, it's like very, 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 because my city has like 7,000 people. Wow. So probably my neighborhood here has like 10 times this number yeah um what's the name of your city in brazil meleiro uh Meleido. It, it comes yeah it comes from mel which means honey mm -hmm. um so that's why but we don't have honey anymore <laughs> <laughs> so most of the people uh always think like oh so you you used to live in a very small city when you come to new york when you came to new york probably it was a big change right mm -hmm. And I don't think it was actually. I mean, when you move to from, you came, you come from another country. You have a lot of things to figure out uh, yeah. since to go to the supermarket and to find the groceries that you were used to, and to rent an apartment and everything. So this is it. This is hard. Whatever you are from São Paulo or from a small city like me, yeah, but the yeah. rest of the things for me, I don't know. I consider myself. Um, can I say that I'm a urban girl? Urban. Or no, urban. So yeah. I can say that urban girl. You can say that. Um, I think I would probably say I'm a city girl. City girl. Yeah. Or better. in my case, I'm a city boy. I would not say I'm a city yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm a city girl. Uh, I'm not like a countryside, you know, the mountains or the beaches. No, I'm a city girl. I like yeah, to yeah. be here. I, I, when I go to Long Island, for example, for example, I think it's beautiful the houses and everything but i feel so bored to imagine to myself back to manhattan yeah 
So uh, the city makes me feel alive and give me energy. Um, and what I like in New York is that everything that I want to do, anything that I want to do, uh, any place that I wanted to visit, I'm going to find it here, you know, and it, I want to take a class, a cooking class, I can take it. I want to take Spanish classes or French classes or English classes. I can take it. I can, I can take a class. Yeah. Um, I can eat from McDonald's to the most expensive restaurant in the world, the best yeah. one. So in the world. The world. You know that I have problems. <laughs> we can talk um, about that after. <laughs> yeah, so I, I I really don't know how to explain, but I love New York and I can't imagine myself like living in another place. Not yeah. now, you know, and because of my 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 job, I can say uh, my blog and my channel and everything that I do today, it 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 it. it, it it is what keeps me keeps me doing, you know. So yeah. I have a blog where I write about New York City, things to do and everything. So I keep in like trying to discover new things to to write about it and show my readers or or even on my YouTube channel. So I feel so good when I find out about a place. Yeah, yeah. I feel so good when I find out about a place that and nobody's talking about, you know, when I exploring new neighborhoods where it, or when I find a new restaurant or new store. And I know that my readers are going to love that. Because of my blog, um, my husband and I, we've been sp exploring this city a lot in the last four years. And mm -hmm. I don't think that, that I, I, would, I would have done the, the half of the things that I did. If it wasn't because my blog. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of friends that have lived in New York for a long time. And it's easy, I think, in New York just to kind of stay in your neighborhood because yes. it's kind of annoying. Like if you're in Manhattan to go to Brooklyn or something like that. It takes a long time, costs money. But I think you have great motivation because you're always trying to explore new things. That's the right word, mot motivation. Yeah. That's the right word. <laughs> That's the yeah. word you're looking for. Yeah. I, I don't know. When I when I moved to New York the first six months, I was a little lost. Yeah. Um, because I was lost we, the entire uh, year that I lived there. <laughs> <laughs> winter is very hard, you know. It's, mm -hmm. it's not like a simple winter. Yeah. Winter in New I York mean, is not a joke. It is yeah, last, so cold. Last, Last Monday we had snow and we are currently in spring. Yeah. And I checked the forecast and it's showing snow next Saturday. Next Saturday again. Oh man! Can't believe it. So, so I spent some time like figuring out, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember that I went to FIT. Uh, yeah. For a, a summer course. For those that don't know, FIT is the the Fashion, Fashion Institute technology. of Technology. Yeah. Cool. That's what opened my eyes for the city. Mm -hmm. um, Open my eyes to the city. Open my eyes to the city. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was four years ago, you know, so I, I, I really don't remember a lot. So I think is that the, the, the thing that is going to like summarize is that it, the city makes me feel alive. I feel so excited when I go outside and I see the people and everything. And when I got in the Staten Island ferry boat and I see the skyline and the Statue mm -hmm. of Liberty, and I never went there. <laughs> the yeah. Of Liberty. Yeah, um, I went there when so I was a little I, kid. I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's, it takes a long time. Yeah. But yeah, so when I go to a rooftop and I see the city, when I see Empire State or a yellow cap and I remember that I am here, you know, yeah. I, I, I know that it sounds like a cliche, but for me, it's, it is what it is. Not that it's easy. It's not easy to be here. And I know that not, I don't like this word, like a lucky, a lucky girl, but I know that it's not, not everybody's going to have the same chance that I had yeah. because I, my husband got a job here. Mm -hmm. He's a software engineer, and probably I will never be here for myself. Yeah, by myself. I think by myself. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I totally agree with you that New York is well, two things. New York definitely has an energy about it, 
that when you're there, it just makes you feel like you can feel real energy in your body. It makes you really excited seeing all those things. But at the same time, it's super difficult because it never stops. You always have to work hard, play yeah. hard. The city that never sleeps, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you were talking about your first six months, one of the things you said was about finding an apartment. So that was the worst experience that, that I yeah, had was, in New York, finding an apartment. Did you have a crazy experience with that? Yes. <laughs> I have so many stories. So when you are uh, looking for an apartment in New York City, you have to know how to play the game. Yeah, it is a game. It is a game. <laughs> so you have to know what you want mm -hmm. and how much you want to pay. And, and you have to be like aware that you're not going to have everything that you want. No, there's no such thing as a perfect no. deal in no, apartment hunting not. in New York. No, there is not. And the most important th thing about finding an apartment in New York is that when you see something that you like it, get it. Immediately. Get it. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't go, you can't go home and think about it. You can't. No. You have to decide. Buy it on so, the spot. Yes. So this apartment that I'm living right now, I came here with the broker and I saw it like for 15 seconds and I said, okay, this is it. And mm. I called my husband <laughs> and I told him, okay, I, yeah, <laughs> so probably fast. 15 seconds. I look around, I love it. And right, then let's go. <laughs> yeah. So because the broker told me that he had another appointment, like in one hour and a half after me. Yeah. I called my husband, I sent a video that I did on the apartment and he was like, eh, you know, but the second room, the second bedroom doesn't have a window to the outside. I mean, you're going to face a, a brick and wall yeah, yeah. from the other building. There's no sun. And I, I told him, okay, you can have everything that you want. This yeah. is it. You can't now always get you, what you want. Yeah. So you leave, you leave your office. Your, you leave your job, your work, and you go strictly to the to the office to sign the the application. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. So my husband just he didn't see the apartment. He had to he had to trust myself to trust my instincts. Yeah, perfect. So trust he, my instincts. He saw the apartment uh, the day that we signed the lease. That's crazy. Yeah, but. But now he first, likes it. Yeah, he loves. Yes, sir. This week we received the lease to renew, you know, yeah. like the paperwork. And I have to confess that I check online to see other deals. And he was like, <laughs> I'm very happy here. I don't want to move. Let's not do this, please. But first time that we're, we, we were like uh, looking for an apartment in New York, we were like, we just moved to the city and it starts to look for an apartment. We had no credit. And when you don't have a credit, you are nobody. Yeah. Right. That, I wanted to ask you about that. That's super complicated. It's very complicated. Very complicated. Especially when you are not an American. Yeah. So, for example, like when I first got my first apartment, I had to use my parents' credit because I didn't have any credit. And mm -hmm. then you build credit. And... That's a difficult process for American citizens. I can't imagine for foreigners. It's a long process. It took us like nine months to have a credit card. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So we are looking for an apartment in Brooklyn at the beginning. And I was living here for like 15 days. I had no idea where I was yeah. in the city. <laughs> Today I know. Uh, I know the neighborhoods in Brooklyn. I have an idea of like you learn how to how you can you say that how to locate yourself? No. Yeah, you can say how to locate yeah. yourself. I think I would say this is a really good phrasal verb, how to get around. And that how just means around. how to yeah. move around in the city. Yeah. Yeah. So today I know I have like a sense of distance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I know that Coney Island is far away from Manhattan. <laughs> super you know? far away. Yeah. So, but at that time, I had no idea. Yeah. And 
we have been so many places and I remember that one day we had a, an appointment with a broker in Brooklyn. So the broker didn't show up and we we're trying like to bust the apartment, you know, and we we're mm -hmm. lost. We didn't know what to do. And then a, a, a guy that was living in that building, he was very nice to us. And he was like, okay, you can get in and you can try to open the apartment. Maybe it's unlocked. And we try, but it wasn't. And then he invited us to check his apartment. <laughs> but his apartment was like, really, it was like those, it was a place like full of things, like a lot of things. I mean, he had, he had so many things and the apartment <laughs> was dark. So it was like, I was scared. There were so many It sounds figures. like the start of a murder movie. <laughs> yes. It was like, I told my husband, let's get out of here, please. <laughs> it was like scary. It was very scary. And we saw so many places that you think, how can a person live like that? Yeah. So my first, the first place I lived in New York was... In the Lower East Side, more or less, in Alphabet City, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was just living with a friend, like, for two months. And he had a tiny, tiny apartment, literally like a closet. And wow. I was sleeping more or less on his floor. And he has a big golden r retriever. <laughs> so I was sleeping with the dog. And I still think he was paying, like, $2,000 a month. So finding apartments in New York. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Because you don't want to spend a lot. I mean, you you will spend a lot. <laughs> you don't want to, but you will. But, but it's still you have a budget, right? Yeah. And you have you you want to fo follow that budget and I mean, I live in the Upper East Side and please people don't think that I'm a gossipy girl <laughs> because <laughs> where I live there's nothing to do with the TV series. Is gossip uh, girl are they based in the Upper East Side? Yes, yes. So, so I when always you say that, got, everyone gives you that joke? Yes, yes. I always <laughs> got that look and the, that comment, oh, gossipy girl. Oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. no. The Upper East Side's no. like a really calm place, actually. If you go to the Madison Avenue and Fifth Avenue, okay, this is gossipy girl. But here, <laughs> Second Avenue, it's like normal life, you know. Yeah. Uh, my my building is very very old, very old. Is what you call you probably know pre pre war. Yeah, yeah, a pre war building. So nothing fancy. Yeah. Today I love to be in this area. So when you think about moving and if you want to move into another neighborhood, it's almost like moving to another city. Exactly. Because the neighborhoods are so are so different and when you are a tourist if you come to the city uh if you are in the, in the island and then you go to brooklyn it's completely different like the vibe totally you go different. to williamsburg the hipsters and everything <laughs> so a lot of places in new york i related to my my hometown yeah you know like a lot of neighborhoods mm -hmm. so that's why i think not that yeah i prefer to be here I don't yeah. know if I'll be here forever in the island, but... For the time being, you're yeah. you're staying on the island. Yeah, yeah, that's something that I really love about New York, but also makes it complicated, is that each neighborhood essentially is its own city. Like the Upper East yes. Side has a totally different vibe than Midtown. So... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Midtown? I would never live in Midtown. Yeah, I lived there for like six months. It was terrible. Which, <laughs> would... which street? Uh, I think I lived on like 47th uh, and 8th, so almost uh, in Times Square. Times Square. Wow. No. It was no, horrible. thank you. No, no, no. Yeah, Times Square is that. cool to go once, check it out, but it is not cool if you have to walk through it every day going to work. Yeah, 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 I agree. Actually, and actually, 34th Street, Harrod Square is mm -hmm. the same. Yeah, yeah, it's super busy, super crowded. Yeah, and super like... I mean, I live in the city and near Second Avenue. It's like he's pretty busy here, but mm -hmm. still, uh, my husband, my husband, <laughs> is still my <laughs> apartment is in the back of the building. Same thing, apartment, so, husband. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not noisy, you know. Yeah. It's it's calm. It's it's good, and That's I nice. think that when you live in the midtown area, it's not 
always like that. No, it was always loud, twenty four seven. Yeah, it's better if you are in the in a in a building like uh, with I don't know fifty floors, and you are in the fifty, but still you're gonna listen to the ambulances and everything. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and the the angry drivers. Yeah. So, Laura, you said something that I really want to ask you about because a lot okay. of my students ask me about this, and. Okay. I never know exactly how to explain it, but when you're talking about Williamsburg and hipsters, like <laughs> Williamsburg is the hipster capital of the world. Yeah. What is a hipster for you in the American sense? So when you hear the word hipster, like what image do you have in your mind? Young people. Um, yeah. Not many old maybe, hipsters. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they don't wash the hair, their hair yeah. a lot. Probably have a big beard. Yeah, yeah. They have like alternative style as well. They are yeah. very um, authentic. the The way that they dress, you know, they are very. I mean, you go to the Union Square, get the L train to mm -hmm. Williamsburg, and just like the time that you you get into the train, you're gonna see it, and you're gonna see that the people are different. <laughs> it's totally and, different. Yeah. It's very hard to explain, but yeah, I would say in one war in one word, I would say um, alternative. Yeah, I think that's a good word. Hipsters, it's an interesting idea because it means something different to everyone else. So it depends. It's really subjective. It depends. And on who probably you're talking to. they are all against the big corporations. So, <laughs> yeah, so there are some some people that say that Williamsburg is not that hipster because now they have Whole Foods and they have Apple, um, mm -hmm. and they have yeah, so they have a lot of these big corporations. So maybe uh, if you really really like see more hipsters, you probably go to you probably should go to Bushwick. Yeah, Bushwick, Greenpoint. Yeah. Greenpoint, yeah, but Williamsburg still have a lot of hipsters. Go to Smorgasburg Saturday morning in Williamsburg. Smorgasburg. Can you explain what that is? Smorgasburg. Smorgasburg. Where's that? It's a food market. Mm -hmm. Smorgasburg. Yeah, I think that's the way that you say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a um, famous food market outside, mm -hmm. outdoor. It happens from April to November. They have like more than 100 vendors. Wow. Probably, probably a little less, but so, you know, the, the ramen burger? Uh, the ramen burger? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know? So it was born in Smorgasburg. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I've never heard about that. I wonder if it's kind of new or maybe I just. No, I don't think it's new. I mean, since I'm living in New York. They have Smorgasburg. Yeah. Cool. But cool. I don't know when it started, but they are very strong. I know that the selection, the vendor's selection is very, very competitive. They are very, they have a lot of, um, how can you say? They're very picky. Can yeah. I say that? Yeah, yeah. Choose vendor. Perfect. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah, they're not just choosing anybody that sells hot dogs on the street. Yes, because they know that once you are there, you're going to be su successful. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, yeah. So, yeah. I think it's a great thing to do when you are in New York. Go to Williamsburg on a Saturday morning. Because otherwise, if you go to Williamsburg, like Wednesday morning, it's like a countryside. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have a lot of uh, local stores. Mm -hmm. So... A hipster is not going to buy from a big corporation. He's going to buy from a local store. Yeah, But exactly. Williamsburg now is very expensive. So they, people say that the hipsters are not staying there anymore. Yeah, gentrification. But, yes. So the for those that, that think that I am fancy, probably there are more, the, the, the rents in Williamsburg are more expensive than in my area. For sure, for sure. And I know because I search a lot. 